But and you're I, never like in the midst of like you because you have to work in such tight quarters. Like you're always just together when you like in the moment. Like there's a lot of like couples on TV that have renovated renovation shows and stuff like that. I and I feel that. like. You realize I know, we're not a couple, right? Just yeah. so you no, know. No, I know, okay. but I feel like I could feel the tension. I never feel like actual tension. There was we, well, we had one shouting match like a month ago about something. Well, uh, and something else was bugging you. So Jonathan yeah. was already in a bit of a, a huff, and so um, and then I could just see the tension. And basically, long and short of it was, we were we were, we were permitted to shoot on the on the street where we were, and there was a woman opened her window, uh, had her window open, and. She yells out at us, excuse me, can you move down the street? I'm, uh, you're, you're bothering me. And we're like, oh, so sorry. We're, gonna be, we're literally one more minute. We have one more minute left. We've been filming for 20 minutes. Yeah, we've been there for 20 minutes. And she's like, stop now. What were you bothering? Like, what is, what do you she, hear? She just said the noise of our conversation. We were just talking. Because <laughs> crew, crew was literally filming our conversation. So it would be like, you know, well, this, this house is such and such. And this house is such and such. And uh, so she's like, stop talking now. And so uh, no joke very kind i'm like oh my gosh i'm so sorry we're one minute and we're done we'll be out of your hair she's like no now you stop now <laughs> and i'm like this is the problem i have no time for bullshit and if people are being unreasonable i my tolerance level is very low well, i will come in here and say jonathan says in a very kind voice i said from my perspective it was a very passive aggressive voice that said uh oh it looks like we're gonna be done in just a minute so maybe you're bothering us okay and then he, and then, uh, I'm like, oh, I was like no, that was the second round, right? Right. So yeah. anyway, long story short, he blew up more than I thought he should. No, and I'll then, tell you, I'll tell you what I said because it's funny. <laughs> this woman, like, she keeps going on, and she's like, "Shut your window." She's like, "I'm dealing with, I'm a psychiatrist, and I'm dealing with clients, and you're ruining everything." And so I said, "You know what might actually help if you just close your window? Then maybe you'll stop bothering us." And then she goes like, "What did you say?" She's like, "No." And then I, I said to her one more time, "I'm like, yeah, I don't know. This is." I'm thinking you might need some of your own medicine. And uh, anyway, that's when Drew's like, stop. And I was like, I just have no time for people's BS. So that was the last argument we got in because Drew did not want me saying that. And I was like, well, after I, I walked up to him very calmly just to say, what is going on? And he's like, don't even, I know exactly what you're going to say. And I'm tired of people's bullshit and, and whatever. And I'm like, okay, someone needs to have so a So what we're saying is, time out. <laughs> watch out guys. Don't give yeah. me any bullshit. All right. Well, you're anyway, we had, uh, you know, I, I, I what we did find out, it's funny, you should tell that story. That woman had just received a phone call from her doctor who informed her she only had 11 minutes to live. Mm. So, the, oh. and the last two the minutes. Last so, two minutes every minute, every minute counted. So, we yeah. got those quality minutes.